Okay, so yesterday I was just teaching math multiplication to my nephew, which was enough challenging for me to make him understand by doing that old methods because that old method takes much time. So I decided to make a video doing multiplication by drawing geometric lines. So this video is for my nephew, which can also be helpful for your kids. So as you can see, this time we got 23 times 11, okay? And by that old method, we can do that and we can have the answer equals 253. Now I'll do the same thing, okay, with drawing lines. So 23 times 3 and for the first two, I mean for the digit 2, I'll draw two lines, okay, in one direction and then I'll leave some space and then draw three lines per three, okay, just like that. Now I'll draw lines in the other direction for date 11, okay. So for date 1, one line, I'll start from the bottom, okay, make sure you start it from the bottom. And then one line, just leave some space and draw another line, okay, in the same direction. Now as you can see, we can split the diagram, just like that as I'm doing. Now we will count the intersections, like I'll start from the right hand side there we got just three intersections at the middle we got of course five intersections you can see the dots okay those green dots now at the left hand side we got two intersections that means that's the answer two five three pretty awesome okay and much easier than that old method okay next i'll start it from the basic so you can understand and your kid can understand it from the basic, okay? Like I'll start with two times one. Okay, remember I'll draw two lines in one direction, just like that. And then I'll draw another line in the other direction for one, okay? We will count intersections, which are this time two. That means that's the answer. Two times one equals two. Let's have another example. This time we have eight times two. So I'll draw eight lines in one direction, just like that. And then I'll draw two lines in the other direction. And we will just count the intersections, which of course are just 16. So that means eight times two equals 16. Pretty awesome. Next, I'm gonna have a bigger number, like 34 times 32. Now three lines for date three in one direction. Then we leave some space and draw four lines for date four in the same direction. And then we'll draw three lines for date three in the other direction. Okay, make sure you start that from the bottom. And then we'll leave some space and then draw two lines for date two in the same direction. Now we will split the diagram as I'm doing and we will just count the intersections. I'll start from the right hand side. And there we got eight dots or eight intersections. At the middle we have, I guess, let me just count them. And those are 18. Okay, so we got 18 at the middle. And at the left hand side, there we got nine dots. Okay, now let me make some adjustment over here. Okay, 18 is a bigger value than nine. Okay, we can go up to nine. Now I'll just carry one over to nine so we can add that and that's of course now ten and that's the answer ten eight eight which is one thousand eighty eight pretty awesome oh, okay it's it's enough simple okay you can do that with uh even bigger number look like this one okay one two two times two three one and let's do it okay i'll draw one line in the one direction and then leave some space and draw two lines for day two. Leave some space and draw two lines for day two. Okay, in the same direction. Now we will draw lines for the other numbers in the other direction. Okay, make sure you draw that from the bottom. Okay, so two, three, and one. Now split the diagram like that. And let's count the intersections. We have two intersections. In the other place we have okay those are eight pretty awesome at the middle we have four plus six 
those are 10 and that one which is 11 and then we have 4 plus 3 makes 7 and then at the left hand side at that corner we have only 2 okay now let's make some adjustment again okay 11 is more than 9 so we will carry one over so we can add that with 7 and that's now 8 and that's the answer 28182 enough easy okay it takes less time than that odd method okay let's try a number having zero what we gonna do over here I'll draw one line and for that zero we'll leave some space and draw one line but let me make that dotted so I can understand and I can remember that that dotted line is for zero and then leave some space and draw two lines for that two in the same direction now I'll draw lines in the other direction for the other numbers make sure you draw it from the bottom like for one that's one leave some space and another one and leave some space and two other lines okay just split the diagram like that and count the intersections there are fours and then we have one two and those others cannot be counted because those intersections are made with that dotted line and remember that dotted line is just representing zero okay so multiplication with zero will make the thing zero okay so we cannot count them we have only two this time all right next we'll count the middle one like one and that cannot be counted of course because that's also made with the dot line okay and at the top we have two so it's making four this time and again one and that intersection cannot be counted and at the left hand side we have one so one one four two four that's the answer and that's it thank you guys for watching i hope you understand and your kids will understand it better